Hey guys, Eric Scheidel here, the HVAC service mentor, and I wanted to share with you a question that I got from a field technician. And the question goes something like this. Hey Eric, what is the difference between measuring continuity and measuring ohms on my multimeter? Well, that certainly is a great question, and uh, there have been a lot of different opinions on which one is best. Measuring continuity, measuring ohms, when would I use one versus the other, what's the difference, they both seem about the same, and we're going to get into that here today. Um, speaking of, of a wide variety of opinions, uh, one instructor that I had said the very first rule of troubleshooting is to smash your ohm meter. Well, don't smash your ohm meter, but I would say that using your ohm meter first is not the right thing to do. However, there are a lot of applications for an ohmmeter and a lot of applications for a continuity tester. So first of all, let's talk about what is the difference between ohms, resistance, and continuity. So ohms is represented by the omega symbol. And the omega symbol is a uh, representation of units of electrical resistance which are called ohms. Ohms are named after a German researcher from the 1800s named Georg Ohm, who did a lot of early research on electromagnetism and electrical theory. Pretty cool dude. Anyway, uh, that is what ohms is. Ohms measures the property of electrical resistance. Continuity is related to ohms. Um, however, it is mainly meant to indicate whether or not a, uh, a switch is open or closed, for example, or whether or not there is a continuous pathway from point A to point B. Um, so what do we use ohms for? What do we use continuity for? When using ohms, what we're looking for is we want to measure the electrical resistance, usually of a load. For example, a compressor motor. We want to measure the resistance of the windings of the compressor motor, uh, of a hot surface igniter. We want to measure the resistance of that load. When we want to use continuity, what we're looking for is we want to see, is this switch open or is it closed? Does it have continuity through it or does it not? Uh, is this wire touching ground, right? So I can measure between the end of the wire and I can measure ground. Are these two conductors in this cable bundle touching one another somewhere along? I can see that there's continuity between the two wires by using my continuity tester. Hey Eric, can't you use an ohmmeter to tell the same thing? Yes, you can. But the difference is that continuity will create a sound. Continuity tester will create a beep. And that is one of the main differences between ohms and continuity. Boom, continuity. No continuity. Um, once upon a time, I was uh, discussing a troubleshooting scenario with an electrician. And I, you know, electricians are a little different than HVAC technicians. And he's, this particular guy was from the South. And so he used some terminology that I wasn't really all that familiar with because I'm not from the South. And one of the things he said, Hey, did you tone the circuit? I didn't never heard the phrase tone the circuit before. And I'm like, I'm not familiar with that terminology. What do you mean by tone the circuit? And, um, at first I thought he said phone the circuit. I didn't know what he meant, but what he meant was listen for the continuity tone. Ah, gotcha. Let's take a look at a couple of different meters and uh, show the difference between uh, ohms and continuity on each one and when you may prefer to use one over the other. Okay, so here I've got three different meters uh, all in a row. Uh, here I've got my, uh, my Fluke 87-5. Here I've got a Klein CL220. And over here, I've got an Amprobe AMP320. And each one of these has both an ohms feature and a continuity feature. And what you'll notice is that ohms and continuity are related to one another. For example, if we look at the fluke here, you can see that the um, selector is pointed right there at the ohms, at the omega symbol. And also right next to it is this kind of like little sound symbol, which is the symbol for continuity. And to engage continuity, I have to press the little speaker button 
or I just turn continuity off and there it's turned back on there's a little indicator that says continuity is engaged on this meter continuity and ohms work exactly the same except the continuity will only beep when the resistance level is somewhere underneath or below about 40 ohms I believe that's about where it is Here I've got a Honeywell zone valve motor and I'm going to measure the resistance of this motor by measuring uh, between the two yellow leads here's my two yellow leads one and the other you notice the ohms is about 22.3 and it shows I do have continuity now one of the challenges with measuring in the continuity scale is when folks get used to doing that they always assume that when I do have continuity I have a short and this isn't indicating a short this is indicating 22 ohms but that's normal that's exactly what it's supposed to be here's another example on why using continuity can sometimes be a challenge and what you really want to measure is resistance here's an older hot surface igniter and this hot surface igniter is operational but it has somewhat high resistance measurement hundred fifty ohms and you'll notice that this is greater than the meters continuity scale so it's accurately displaying what the resistance is but it's not showing any continuity even though it is a continuous circuit it's a load it's got a level of resistance Come back in there there we go so in this way if a person was used to listening for the tone and making a good or a go or no go judgment based on the sound you could be misled into believing things are failed or open when they're not they just have a normal level of high resistance now in this case this igniter you know is a little more resistance than it should have but it's still functional and is not open even though it doesn't show continuity let's test it with the uh, Klein here and see what uh, Klein shows now Klein's a little different unlike the uh, unlike the fluke Klein has a uh, ohms position and it has a continuity position so you'll notice that in the ohms position I'll measure that um, uh, motor again and it takes a minute to get up there there it goes 22.1 ohms if I want to measure continuity on this one I have to move the dial over a notch now I'm in the continuity scale but it still displays my ohms and continuity at the same time but it takes a minute to get there there we go so that's a difference in between the Klein and the fluke here where we have to actually move the selector dial let's check that amp probe real quick how it works so on this amp probe meter my uh, ohm scale or feature selection is here and included in that selection is also continuity testing and diode testing the default when I flip into the uh, selector position is automatic ranging in ohms starting off with the uh, kilo ohm scale make this thing stop turning on me there we go so let's take a measurement between on the motor again there's my measurement and I know that one of my test leads on this is actually showing high resistance which was why this one is different than the other two meters yet another reason to check your meter leads and make sure they're correct now for this one if I want to measure continuity I have to hit my select button to change and now you see the little uh, symbol has arrived it makes uh, indicates a sound I'll test again and there I have a sound and I have my measurement 
Okay, so there you have it, continuity and ohms. They're almost like two sides of the same coin or almost like the same thing, only different. Personally, I prefer to only use uh, continuity when I'm looking for shorts and wires or when I'm looking for shorts to ground. What I'm looking for is, is there a pathway to ground for this wire? And I don't use them on motors though, because here's why. You can have a high resistance path to ground. It is a short to ground, but it's higher than your continuity detector uh, detester will pick up on. And for that reason, I want to use the ohms scale um, for testing motor shorts to ground. But if I'm looking to see is my thermostat cable shorted to the duct, for example, or to something else, that is when ohms uh, or when continuity uh, can come in handy. But I find myself using ohms an awful lot more than using continuity because I recognize that using continuity can lead you astray. Some meters, and you're not going to know which one because they don't you know, often publish this information, but some meters are more accurate measuring resistance in the ohm scale than they are when in continuity mode. In continuity mode, their ohms measurement is not as fine. Uh, so when you're looking for something like a high resistance short to ground, you may not find it using continuity scale. Your meter may just be like, mm. <laughs> uh, so I hope that clears up some of the confusion uh, between or mystery between ohms and continuity. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again here real soon. By the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if this is the kind of information that you find useful and helpful in your uh, daily life and in your work life. Um, don't forget to ring the notification bell and get notifications every time we upload a new video. And remember to go to HVACServiceMentor.com. That's my website. And you'll learn more about some of the different training opportunities we have available there. While you're there, uh, use the sign up form to get on our email list. And remember, every new sign up gets a free full length training course, totally free. So go ahead and check that out. I'm Eric Scheidel, the HVAC service mentor. Thanks for coming and I'll see you again next time.